Recycle is a charity that was established in 1998 and forwards donated bikes, parts and tools to various partnership organisations in Africa. Recycle Partners establish grassroots projects which focus on four key initiatives. Medical assistance, education, female empowerment and supporting local entrepreneurs. To keep running costs low and ensure durability, Recycle's partner projects train beneficiaries in bicycle maintenance. This means that those who receive bikes can maintain their own bikes or go on to run their own workshops. There are many key benefits to Recycle's work. The use of unwanted stuff. You can't sell bikes secondhand for very much. And we get bikes that have literally not been ridden, and so people can't be bothered to sell it. Even a right Muppet doesn't want to throw it away because they're looking at it, it's a bike, it's not rubbish. So they just leave it in the garage until it gets rusty and the tires are flat, and then it turns into rubbish in their eyes and they feel justified in throwing it away. In 10 years, Recycle has shipped over 30,000 bikes to its partner projects in Africa. With the resources that Recycle Partners provide, local entrepreneurs can grow their businesses and overcome the hurdles of poor transportation. Health workers save time riding a bike to distant patients, and a market trader is able to earn more money by selling goods further afield. A bike is going to transform a life. Recycle's operations centre is in Colchester, which is in the southeast of the UK. One of Recycle's priorities is establishing collection hubs in or around cities such as London to enable the charity to be closer to the bicycle donors. The good quality bikes, the bikes that are either in good condition or can be put into good condition without needing hours and hours of work are sent out to Africa pretty well as they come in because any minor repairs will actually be done in Africa by our partners. Even if we did do it here, we would actually be taking away employment from Africa. Volunteers are key to all Recycle's work and many are needed when it comes to loading a container. Uh, we send a shipment, a container load of bikes, normally about 400 bikes per shipment, roughly every four weeks. In the last 12 months, we have sent bikes to Lesotho, which is supported by Centre Bali, which is the charity founded by Prince Harry. Recycle helped establish the bicycling empowerment network Namibia, known as BEN. This is an important partnership for the charity because it provides bikes to HIV and AIDS outreach volunteers. This bike ambulance is created using simple bike parts and some easily sourced local material. Poor roads and transport and a lack of funds mean that these bike ambulances have a huge benefit to the community. One of the key growth initiatives that Recycle is launching in its 10th anniversary is the promotion of partnerships with medical organisations to support their health workers. Bike ambulances are both simple to make and effective in reaching rural or isolated patients. These vehicles are used in areas where transport is limited and recent increases in the oil prices have made taxi fares unaffordable for those on lower incomes. Even under normal circumstances, the average worker spends a quarter of their income on transport. Things don't always run smoothly, and sometimes there's a scarcity of more basic items. So, uh, what do you do now? You run out of oil. What happens? Can you not buy some? The guys are telling me there's no oil to put on the chair. Yes, I think there is no oil. They can't have a bike shop with no oil. A new partner for Recycle is Ability Bikes in Ghana, set up by Bikes Not Bombs. They work with physically challenged people and showcase another of Recycle's key initiatives entrepreneurship and inclusiveness, embracing the less advantaged in society. A typical day at Ability Bikes, you know, we come in the morning roughly around 8.30, open up the store, and then we start getting to work. Our first container came the very last day of June, and it was about 450 bikes. And we're just finishing up building the bikes in that container. Once the container came, a lot of our, our work was simply putting things in order. And then we have some forks. Yes. Wow. Yes, we, we built some. Um, when we first came, we just had two garage-style stores that were empty and then packed with parts. So our job was to you know, pull everything out, organize it, and make it a functioning workshop. 
Right now we have four functioning work stands and three workbenches and laid some concrete on the outside for a patio. So our space is pretty nice right now. Our training started the very beginning of September and that was training 12 members of Ghana Society of the Physically Disabled. Mm -hmm. We were only looking to hire about six or eight people, so we're thinking in January to formally hire these six individuals and give them jobs, give them a letter of hire, give them uh, an appropriate salary. Because I want to be mechanic, but sometimes when I'm fixing something, I found it difficult and I asked my colleagues then, they teach me, do this, no, it's not that, do it like this. For instance, today when I'm fixing the chain, I change it and Ajin corrects me. Mm. When it goes in at a wrong angle, the tip uh, of the tool can bend. David. Yes. Come and show me. Okay, okay. Yeah, so this one is a rapid fire shifter. What size chains are on these bikes? Chain? Yeah. Uh, it's the small one. The small one. Yes. Why, why is that? Because it's light. Why chain. do you need a light chain? Um, the thicker ones are used for the, for the mountain bikes. No. The, the thicker ones are used when there's only one speed. So what's the future for Recycle? It's looking to set up more collection points in the UK and abroad, expand partnerships in Africa with a focus on healthcare, establish sponsorship with shipping companies, and develop online self-help guides in partnership with other bike reuse organizations. Check the website to find ways you can help.